and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Uh, it's been a joy to be uh, studying the Word together every day. And this week, we've been looking at uh, this topic of God imitators. It's such a privilege for us to imitate Him. And we are called to imitate Him. We are exhorted in Scripture to be like Him. So therefore, it's not an act of pride or presumption or arrogance to be like Him. Because He is good and He is love itself. And so we can be, um, be, we can walk in his footsteps. We are called to walk in his footsteps as dear children. Now we've been looking at Ephesians chapter one, chapter five and verse one says, therefore be imitators of God as dear children, right? One of the aspects that we can imitate about God is the aspect of his leadership. Um, the, how the Lord Jesus during his earthly ministry, how he led the people by example and by precept. So we are called to imitate his leadership. Philippians chapter 2 and verses 3 to 5, um, it goes like this. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. And let each of you look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. So this whole quality uh, 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 of putting others or esteeming others better than ourselves is something that we can inculcate in our style of leadership. Matthew chapter 20, verses 25 to 28, but Jesus called them to himself and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them. And those who are great exercise authority over them. Yet it shall not be so among you. For whoever, but whoever desires to become great among you, let him be your servant. And whoever desires to be first among you, let him be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Now that is what the Lord says. He says, you cannot lord it over them or you cannot boss over people or override people's will or intimidate people into following something or doing something. Now that is not God's style of leadership. He says, you shall not lord it over them those of you who exercise authority. And he says, whoever desires to become great, let him be your servant. Whoever desires to be great, you serve. Whoever desires to be first, let him be your slave. In other words, God is, um, the Lord is saying that he came to serve and not to be served. He is introducing uh, what, is, what we can call as servant leadership. Now we need the wisdom of God to do it right. We need the dependence. We need to depend on the Holy Spirit to do it right because otherwise it can be a fleshly thing where we are overextending ourselves, overreaching ourselves and, and, and not really taking our role and taking our responsibilities into consideration when we do this. So we need to do this right in God's way and God's Spirit will give us the wisdom and the blueprint to be servant leaders. So as we, um, as we lead, for those of us who are in authority and who lead teams and in offices and, uh, and maybe even as heads of families, as we lead, we are called to serve, to look at it as serving people, to release people into their destiny, to free people into whom God has called us to be, to better people's lives, because that is what He came to do. And um, let's do this. And even today, even in your sphere of influence, wherever you are, you might be in, you might be in college, you might be studying, you might be serving um, in ministry, or you might be working in an office, or you might be, you know, you might be a homemaker, you might be at home as a head of the family. Look to God and say, Lord, I want to be like you, and I want to imitate your leadership. Let's look to God in prayer. Father, we thank you that you've called us to serve others, 
You've called us to imitate this kind of leadership. Father, we thank you that you came to serve us. You served me, God. And we are so humbled, Lord, to, to be like you, to follow you. And wherever you've placed us, God, I pray that today that we will step into your shoes and serve as servant leaders. We thank you for this opportunity and privilege that you've given us to imitate you, to be like you as dear children of our Heavenly Father. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.